So you want to play better Minecraft 4 with your friends. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that, going over every single step. But I do want to mention that in order to host a better Minecraft 4 server, you're going to need a really good computer. That's because better Minecraft 4 is really resource intensive. And not only will you need to run the server on your computer, you'll also need to play better Minecraft 4. Everyone who joins the server must be playing better Minecraft through the Curse Forge app in order to join the server. Sadly, that's just a limitation of modern Minecraft. On top of needing a good computer, though, you're also going to need a really good internet connection because anyone connecting to the server is going to be using your internet to connect and because they're using your internet it's only for your friends and family people that you trust because anyone who gets the IP address of this server can DDoS you hit you offline things like that but what if you don't have to worry about that what if you just want to host a server and not have to worry about security not have to worry about hardware and as long as you can play better Minecraft you can join the server with that issue and on top of that if you have any issues which modern Minecraft servers commonly do there's a way to get help well that's that's where our company Simple Game Hosting comes in. And speaking of getting help with the server, in the bottom down here, you can actually see that we have a live chat that if you need any help, anything like that, you can click on it and reach out. But let's go ahead and get this server. So what you would do is once you're here, go ahead and click get started. For a better Minecraft 4 server, at least six gigabytes is needed. Generally, that's gonna be two to three players good. There, eight gigabytes if you have you know more players than that. Go ahead and click get started. On this next page, it doesn't really matter what you enter, what billing cycle do you want, quarterly or monthly. Make sure you do select Java Edition and that you select Forge here. Not required, but that's what I would suggest. And then for location, select the one that's closest to you. The fastest will be selected automatically. Go ahead and click continue there and go through the checkout process just like you would, clicking check out and then entering in your information. Once you're finished, you will get an account created email. That account created email will look like this. And once you click set up your account, you'll be able to set the password and access your server. From here, look how easy this is to get better Minecraft installed. Click Manage Server. You want to go ahead and stop the server because the server will start automatically. Then go up to the Mod Packs tab. On the Mod Packs tab, all you've got to search for is BMC4 or Better Minecraft 4, and it will pop up. Right there it is, Better Minecraft 4 Forge or Better Minecraft Forge BMC4. Click on the drop down box and make sure you're selecting the most recent version, which is usually the one towards the bottom. Actually, then go ahead and click install and click yes. And now it's going to go ahead and install the mod pack on the server. This takes a few minutes and once it's done, it's going to blow your mind how easy it is. But I'm going to go ahead and open up Better Minecraft 4 because this is so easy to join the server from here. That's really all you need to do. Better Minecraft is open, and in the background, the server finished installing Better Minecraft 4. Go to the console tab, hit start, wait for it to start, I've already done that, and now we can join just like any other Minecraft server, copy the IP address here, take it into Minecraft, Better Minecraft specifically, click open, and then you can direct connect or add it as a server like I have here. Double click on it, and it joins right on in. Your friends can do the exact same thing, just give them the IP address from back here, this IP right here, give them that have them download Better Minecraft 4. There's a guide on how to do that in the description. And they can join the server just like any other Minecraft server that is out there. And uh, yeah, you're good to go. You are now playing Better Minecraft 4 with your friends. But what if you don't want to purchase a server on SimpleGameHosting.com? You want to make one on your own computer. Well, we're going to show you everything you need to know to know how to do that and get it up and running on your own computer. So let's do it. First things first, we're going to want to close out of Better Minecraft here. We then want to go ahead and go to this page in the description. This is the Better Minecraft 4 download page, or the mod pack page. And what we're going to be downloading here is the Better Minecraft 4 server files. You can find these by going to the files tab and then selecting the most recent version here closest to the top. Then scroll down to the bottom of this page and you'll see BMC4 server pack down here at the bottom. Click on the three dots on the right hand side and click download file and the server pack will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save the file but generally it downloads without issue. Now you will also need to download and install Java and potentially run the jar fix in order to run a better Minecraft 4 server as well. Um, I did want to mention that on the front end if for whatever reason you can't start the server you need to get Java and then run the jar fix. These are of course linked in the description. Nevertheless, with the file downloaded, what we want to do is go ahead and create a new folder on our desktop. So we're going to create a new folder. I mean, you can title this whatever you want. I'm going to title it simplegamehosting.com bmc4 because that's the easiest way to start a better Minecraft 4 server. And then we want to go ahead and move the server files we downloaded into this folder. So they're in our downloads folder here. We want to go ahead and move this from the downloads folder into the folder we created on our desktop. Then right click on this, click extract all, and then click extract. 
And now what it's going to do is extract all the better Minecraft 4 files, 7,900 of them that are coming with this mod pack into this folder. Just go ahead and let that happen. Once the server is fully extracted, you'll get this pop-up. Now, one of the things that's interesting in here is we have the zip file. And if you can't see .zip on this, come up here to the top and click View. And then you want to make sure this file name extensions is checked. And even if you don't want to see .zip right now, you need to check file name extensions because you're going to need that here in a second. So make sure you click View at the top and File Name Extensions. And then we can actually delete this server pack. Now, what I'm going to do is move all of these files into the folder that's on our desktop. So open up BMC4 Forge and drag and drop these into the folder that's on our desktop. Now, as soon as we open up the folder that's on our desktop, this is what we see with the better Minecraft 4 files and folders. It should be exactly like this with config, default config, modern fix, mods, as well as these other files. There's a readme here that gives some information on running a server. Um, it does say you need Java 18 in order to play 1.20 mod packs, and that is correct. That's what you're going to be getting on our website there and everything else is covered here for example even you know how powershell works specifically on windows 11 this can be good for different you know issues you may have along the way but most of these are going to be fixed with us here installing this how do you do that well we want to find this start.ps1 if it doesn't say .ps1 at the end of it it's because you didn't turn on file name extensions up here in the view tab then what you want to do is right click on this and then click run with powershell so right click run with powershell you're going to get this warning perfectly okay nothing to worry about click open and now it's going to attempt to start this server and you're going to have to kind of go through some prompts so are you sure you want to continue yes we are sure we want to continue boom right like so it's then going to try to start like i said downloading forge doing some stuff but the reason i say attempt is i believe it's going to fail and we we'll need to agree to the minecraft ula here in one second this may allow, and some mod packs do this, for us to agree with it over here in the uh, PowerShell window. So I'll just jump in whenever we need to do that, whether that's going to be doing it manually or in the PowerShell window. So as expected, there is actually over here in the PowerShell window. As you can see, if you agree to Mojang's ULA, type I agree, which we do. So we want to type I space agree, right like so, and hit enter. And now the server is going to go ahead and finish starting up for the first time. It will take a while the first time it starts. That's just the case for all mod packs as it generates the world, gets any configs that aren't there downloaded. It takes a while, but every time after this, it usually is a lot faster. Better Minecraft 4 servers on simple game hosting can usually start within a minute to a minute and a half. So once you see done up here, the server is generally done loading. It does need to load a few things after that, but that goes really, really quickly. But that means the spawn has finished generating. Once that's done, the server is now started, and you can join this server. You're the only person that can join this server, and we will be showing you how your friends can join it, but let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and show you how you can join this server, and obviously, you're going to need to launch Minecraft with Better Minecraft 4. That is a requirement. You must launch Minecraft with Better Minecraft 4 using CurseForge in order to join the server. All of your friends are going to have to do that as well, and we do have an in-depth guide on how to download and install Better Minecraft 4 in the description down below. And that'll be using the CurseForge launcher that we just used to launch it ourselves right here. Nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and launch this. The server is already running, and I will see you on the main menu to join this. Again, you're the only person that can join this, but it's just a test because if you join the server and it's laggy and having issues because, you know, maybe your computer hardware cannot keep up with it, there's no really reason to go through the entire port forwarding process to allow your friends to join because if you can't play on it while the server is running, your friends are just going to lag the computer more and stress the server even more. So something to worth testing right now before we continue on with the next step of port forwarding and allowing your friends to join. So here we are, Better Minecraft is open as well. We can go into multiplayer, and we do have LAN World here. This is the server we started, but you can also direct connect or add a server as local host or local. And the IP address for the server is local host. Exactly like that, local host, all one word. And when you click done, right there it is. It's pinging the server. You might have to hit refresh and boom, it pops up. So local is here and we can go ahead and double click to join the server. You can see on the left hand side, we are joining right on in. Now. We're good. The server isn't lagging my computer while I'm playing and all of that stuff. It's it's perfectly normal and working as it should. And I'm getting non-responding here, but that's not uncommon when you're first joining a server and we are now online. We're good to go. However, what if 
you uh, can't join or you join and it's laggy or something like that. Well, that could be an indication that your hardware just sadly isn't good enough to be able to uh, to run this. For example, I can run around. I'm not seeing lag. Everything looks good. My render distance is actually pretty good as well. Um, I could run a server on my computer while playing better Minecraft. But if you're running around and you're lagging, you're getting, you know, like a bunch of spam in the chat. You're, you're jumping back, things like that. It could be due to not having good enough hardware. And at that point, your options are to use a remote host like Simple Game Hosting or or, you know, to maybe play on another computer or have a friend with a better computer host the server, something like that. But nonetheless, we are now online. Let's go ahead and move on to the next part, which is actually getting your friends online and joining the server. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and just close out of Better Minecraft 4 here. And then to stop the server, always come over here to the PowerShell, this blue window, and type stop and hit enter right like so. That's going to save everything and shut the server down properly. You can then press any key to continue and close that. Now at this point, what we're going to do is go ahead and minimize everything, close out of this. This is your server directory. We're just going to keep this open, or not keep this open, keep this on our desktop, but we need to get a few numbers here. So to do that, we want to go ahead and open up the command prompt. So open up the start window and type CMD right like so, and you'll have this command prompt app. Open that, and in here, you'll have IP, or you'll want to type, excuse me, IPCONFIG, IP config, all one word, exactly like that, and hit enter. Oh, excuse me. I, I mistyped that. IP config and hit enter. There we go. Uh, once you type in IP config, all one word exactly like that, you'll get some IP addresses is what these are. The IPv4 address and the default gateway is what we want. I'm going to make note of these in notepad, but you could write them down on your desk. Anywhere that works for you to uh, keep basically track of what these numbers are. So our IPv4 in my case is 192.168.1.3. Yours could be and probably is completely different. That is A-OK. -okay. For our default gateway, that is going to be 192.168.1.1. Yours is probably completely different. Also perfectly okay. Okay, so there we have it. We have our IPv4 address and default gateway. If your default gateway is numbers and letters, we want the one that's just numbers. Usually that's going to be on the line under the numbers and letters one, right? So you'll have default gateway, come over, and it'll be like numbers and letters here. And then under that, there'll be nothing on the left-hand side and one that's just numbers. That's the default gateway that we want. Now, let's go ahead and port forward for better Minecraft. To do this, we're going to go and open up our browser. And in a brand new tab, we want to type the default gateway up here at the top, which for me was 192. .168.1.1, right? That's going to open up a login box. Your login box may look completely different. Mine pops in from the top. Yours may be in a nice GUI. It might be a literal pop-up window, but some sort of login box will open. What do you enter in here? Well, it's not your Wi-Fi password. It's going to be your router's username and password. And luckily, we have a guide on exactly how to find that. Starting with method one, go down through method five, going through every single step. Most people find it by method three, by the way. Find their router's username and password. And this covers everything you need to know. Once you've got that, we can go ahead and log on into our router. So I'm going to do that, and I will meet you after I've logged in. So here we are. I have now logged into my router, and your router probably looks completely different. And that's okay. I'm going to be giving you the common terms that we look for and what you can look for in routers. But we do obviously have a guide as well, which is how to port forward on any router. This video goes through all the top routers today, from Netgear to you know Verizon and AT&T to all the different routers that are out there and how to port forward on any of those routers to ensure that you can port forward no matter what. And even if your specific router isn't mentioned, a lot of routers have very similar software. So go watch that video and you'll pick up on a lot of the terms and where it might be in your software because it's probably similar to AT&T, Netgear, Cisco, or another router brand. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and in my router, go to advanced, and then we'll go to advanced again, and then port forwarding slash port triggering. For you, it might be in NAT forwarding, NAT forwarding. It could be in NAT gaming, NAT gaming. It could be in apps and gaming. It could be in advanced. It could be in admin. It could be in advanced. And then advanced again. It could be in port triggering single port forwarding. It could be in the security tab, the administration tab, or the network tab. It could be in game forwarding. It could be in NAT triggering, NAT triggering. There's tons of different stuff, but you can't break stuff on your router by just clicking around. Only save your port forward and you're good to go. And worst comes to worst, you can reset your router to default and nothing will uh, you know, be changed. It will be back to default and be working. So nevertheless, once you've found port forwarding, you want to add a port forward, you may just have a big list of empty boxes. If so, start on line one and enter your port forward there. But for me, you have to add a custom service or add a port forward. Once we've done that, what we want to do is go ahead and name this. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it Better Minecraft 4 because, well, that's what this port forward is for. It's for our Better Minecraft 4 server. For protocol, you want to do TCP slash UDP, UDP slash TCP, or both. It literally 
game may be the word both. If for whatever reason you cannot select both of these, do it once for TCP and then once for UDP, basically doing the same port forward twice for each protocol, but most likely you'll be able to select both in some way. Then for the external port or anything involving the word port, if you see the word port, P-O-R-T, go ahead and enter in 255. 65 right like so so external port hey there's that word port 25565 internal ports hey there's that word port again 25565 right like so anything involving the word port 25565 for the internal ip address we want to go ahead and enter in the ipv4 address we found earlier so 192.168.1.3 this could also be your local ip address your internal ip address or your computer's IP address. You may also have just a big drop-down list, basically of all the devices connected to your network. If that's the case, you wanna find your computer that you're starting the server on and select it there if you have it. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and apply, save the port forward, and for most of you, 95% of you, you're good to go. But some of you needed an external or public IP in order to save the port forward. Well, luckily, every single person watching this video needs that because that's the IP address that your friends are gonna use to join the server. So in the description, down below we have a link to here which is what's my IP address all you can see here is 43 because you don't want to give this out to anybody and everybody you want to only keep it to the people you trust you can also see some of the information that you can get from a IP address which is the country region city latitude and longitude coordinates all from the IP address so it's important to keep this private and only give it out to people you basically invite over to your house on top of that if you don't want to have to worry about any of this simple game hosting does provide that solution you also don't have to port forward on simple game hosting nevertheless let's go ahead and go back to our port forward if we needed to enter in that public IP and enter it here otherwise we're gonna go ahead and minimize our browser and we need to start the server as well as play better Minecraft so better Minecraft 4 is now launching in the background there it is and what we want to do is go ahead and launch the server as well so that's gonna be going to the desktop and opening up the better Minecraft 4 server directory and right-clicking on that start.ps1 file and clicking run with PowerShell that's how you're gonna start the server every time is right-clicking on that start.ps1 file and click run with PowerShell then the server is going to start it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to start it click yes and now it's going to go ahead and get rocking and rolling so nonetheless once you've done that we can go ahead and close out of the server directory there and then we want to go ahead and close out a curse word as well you don't have to do that better minecraft 4 is now open in the background so we're just sitting here waiting for the server to be running to join it while we're waiting on that we can actually go ahead and add it as well go ahead and click on multiplayer you can direct connect to this or add the server and we're going to name this public ip and paste the public ip in here now again you can only see 43 at the end because you don't want to give this out to anybody and everybody click done and now once this is online which it looks like it might be it is we'll be able to see that public is now available now i can double click and join this i know my isp allows me to do that you may not be able to join your server via the public ip and that's perfectly okay 100 normal if that's the case how do you fix that well you would just join via the local host connection that we mentioned earlier in the video that we used to test the only people that have to join via your public ip are your friends you can join via the local host so basically you join the server via local host and your friends join via the public ip that is how you can join the server while your friends join via the public ip if your isp won't allow you to join via your public ip why might they do that well it's actually kind of simple um basically you're connecting back to yourself so you're routing to your isp and then back to yourself and some internet service providers don't like that it's a little weird, I get it, and because of that, they block those kind of connections. So you would use localhost and your friends would use the public IP address. Nevertheless, that is how you can start a better Minecraft 4 server. What if your friends can't join the server though? You've port forwarded, you've done everything like that correctly. What if they can't join? Well, it could be an antivirus, but it could also be basically an antivirus on your computer blocking the connection, but it could also be Windows Defender. Most commonly, it is Windows Defender, and we have a guide in the description on how to allow Java through your Windows Defender firewall for Minecraft servers. It goes through everything you need to know to allow Java through Windows Defender and allow your better Minecraft 4 server to allow those connections in because Windows Defender is blocking them. We also have this guide, which is how to fix a broken Minecraft server. It goes through tons of different troubleshooting issues, and generally, it's probably just a good video to watch, even at like 2x speed or something, to pick up on potential issues your server may have along the way and how to fix those because servers do have issues. That's why I hope 
hosts like Simple Game Hosting with live chat support are so great because if there's issues, there's someone to reach out and get help from. But when hosting it yourself, you've got to rely on guides like we provide here to get those solutions. So nevertheless, that is how you can play Better Minecraft 4 with your friends. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very, very much in advance and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.